Hey everybody, so I'm back. I just wanted to showcase this new demo that I've seen called Heroes of Valor. It's a remake or adaptation, I would say, Battlefield Heroes, um, a game that if you're watching this video, you probably loved playing as a kid or an adult. Um, right here I'm just showcasing the different weapon skins that you can unlock. I've been told that um, this game will not be pay to win. It might have DLC and microtransactions for cosmetic reasons only. Um, that's fine with me. Right now I'm just showcasing all of the different hairstyles and customization you can have. Skin tones, hair color. Um, since this is an early access, there's not a whole lot of customization just yet. But I'm okay with that. I'm more interested in the gunplay. Um, as you can see here, there's three classes available with the engineer um, that will be available at a later date. Um, if you play Battlefield Heroes, you would be very familiar with the classes. Right here, I'm just showcasing the server, host, hosting game systems, and I'm just going to jump into a game. Okay, so I'm now into a game. There's two factions. If you play Battlefield Heroes, this is very familiar. You either got the Royals or Nationals. In this game, it's called the Allies or Axes. Um, the one key feature that I really like about this uh, version of the game is that there is no character class. Before, you would be locked into either a commando, gunner, or soldier, and you had to log out and log back in to switch classes. You don't have to do that in this, which I really like, because it allows for uh, quick collaboration. Um, you know, if you need anti-tank, if you die, you can switch to gunner, you have your RPG right away. Um, I gotta say, the gunplay, it's very good. I have never seen a game since Battlefield Heroes that had the exact same gunplay that I wanted, where it was kind of this long, drawn-out fight, uh, you had some abilities, it took a while, you needed to have consistent aim in order to kill an enemy, um, and it was it was an arcade shooter, right? Um, you're able to jump around, it seems as though you can jump a little bit further in this game compared to Battlefield Heroes, which I like. I don't know if jumping um, modifies the bullet spread or anything. Uh, I'm still learning all of the different guns, but um, it's very familiar to Battlefield Heroes. You, As you can see, I'm playing Soldier right now. I've got the Tommy gun, and then I've also got a mid-range gun. I have burning bullets and uh, healing as my two spells. The only other spell available right now for Soldier is the multiple grenades. There's no pushback ability just yet. And um, as your tertiary weapon, you can either choose the sticky grenade or the single grenade, same as Battlefield Heroes. Um, this map, as you can see, I forget what it was called in Battlefield Heroes, but uh, it was very popular at the time because it was just kind of a, a one objective uh, map. Um, very fun, very fun. So this map that we're loading into, I think it used to be called Seaside Skirmish um, in Battlefield Heroes. Right now I'm just showcasing um, the different weapons that gunners have. You cannot combine shotguns with another shotgun, which I like because it was a little cheesy in Battlefield Heroes. Um, gunners have three abilities. They have the TNT, which you can use with um, your own weapon or a bazooka to blow it up to cause the slow in AoE. And you have Frenzy Fire as well as the AoE shield that you can use with your allies. Um, differences that I have noticed between this version, um, Heroes of Valor, and Battlefield Heroes is you now have a sprint. It seems like you have unlimited stamina. Um, and you can also zoom in slightly with right click. Um, there was a poll that I saw in the Discord that they're going to be removing that zoom in feature. I feel as though it's nice to have. If it modifies maybe the movement or something, um, you might like walk a little bit slowly if you zoomed in. I think that would create an interesting mechanic um, by allowing your character, your target to be a little bit closer or easier to hit, but at the same time your mobility is a little bit uh, compromised. I think that would be pretty cool. But uh, yeah, as you can see here, um, the gunner it plays just like it did in Battlefield Heroes. Um, here you can see me just using an RPG on a tank, I'm trying to take it down. I don't know if AI or the bots in this game are able to use vehicles just yet, um, but I feel as though the bots that I've fought, the AI is actually very good. Um, they're coordinated, they have great accuracy, 
um, and they really dictate the flow of the game. Um, sometimes they're a little stupid, but that's okay. It's better to have bots than play on a server with nobody, which was how it was in Battlefield Heroes. I think that game it was 8 versus 8, and um, near the end, or if you ever played on Rising Hub, sometimes there weren't players available, so personally, I would rather be playing with bots than with just like three people on each side. So Battlefield Heroes, I was a dirty command domain. Um, when you were playing on custom servers, they really tried to limit the amount of commandos that you had because they were OP, right? Like, they had invisibility. If you're a good commando like I was back in the day, um, you're basically two shot against people. It's pretty unfair. Um, as you can see here, um, commandos still have um, their poison traps. It can be used in lieu of the TNT or sticky grenade. Um, they do have stealth, they do have um, improved damage with the scope. Um, the commandos right now, they have two sniper rifles. They have this, um, they have a bolt action one magazine rifle as well as an eight magazine rifle. Um, it plays, it plays decently well. Like, they have this, uh, short range pistol that does a pretty good amount of damage. Um, if you want to play this, like, stealth class you can still do that um, they've changed a little so it won't be the same you don't have all of the OP abilities that commandos had back then like the sprint um, you can see stealth commandos a lot more easily in this version of the game which I like it doesn't make them as um, overpowered as they were in uh, Battlefield Heroes I do enjoy playing them, but honestly, like these days, I would not play Commando. <laughs> I would rather play Gunner or Soldier. Like I want to be in the action. But if this is more of your type of gameplay, go ahead. Um, you know, you will be contributing. Um, but to me, Battlefield Heroes and Heroes of Valor, it's really about the Gunner and Soldier classes. I'm very interested to see how the engineer plays. But as you can see here, the soldier, it's got the short range and long range SMG. You've got a couple pistols. Um, and you've also got an M1 Garand, which I really like. Um, I like the new customizations that the soldier class has. Um, here I am just trying to showcase the different grenade setups. I think I switch out of it pretty quickly. You can see me just getting just destroyed by a plane. I don't know if in the later or the most final versions of Battlefield Heroes the planes had bombs too. But you do in this version, when I was playing planes I didn't really enjoy it. Um, I wasn't a bad pilot in Battlefield Heroes but um, maybe I just need a bit more practice. Anyways, um, the thing that I'm liking about this version of the game is uh, the player count too. Like As you can see I think we're over 16 versus 16 which really um, brings out the amount of action that you have. Like, you might only have to walk 10 seconds and you're back into the fight. Um, I switch back to Gunner here just so I can kill this tank. Uh, the Gunner class, it plays incredibly smoothly. Uh, I think right now I was reading complaints that they're a little bit overpowered in terms of their durability. I, I did not feel that way. I, you know, if somebody's shooting you, you will die. But uh, other than that, the game is good. I will be providing more feedback as I get more familiar with the game, but I have been enjoying this. Um, since I downloaded it last night, I already put in two hours and I want to play more. So if I have anything to say to the devs, um, I'm told it's just a brother duo at the moment, keep it up. You guys are doing a great service. I hope EA doesn't come after you guys. Um, because it seems like they've killed this IP. And to me, Battlefield Heroes crawled. So Fortnite, PUBG, uh, Valorant, all of these games that I don't play could run. That being said, those games do have um, different mechanics and gameplay that... 
I would be interested to see how they could contribute to Heroes of Valor. I'm not looking for a battle royale mode in this game, but there's also a reason why I don't play Rising Hobbin. It's because it's the same game that I used to play um, back in my 20s. I'd be interested to see um, how different mechanics could be applied to this game while keeping the gunplay uh, true to its nature. Right now you can't crowd, so you're not able to use the environment too much to your advantage. Um, maybe if you're hiding within bushes or shrubbery, um, your nameplate is hidden. I think that would be interesting. Um, some new maps would be cool, because right now this is still that same rocket map that people used to play back in the day. Um, my recollection was there was only three popular Battlefield Hero maps. Victory Village, Seaside Skirmish, and this one. Um, but yeah, the gunplay is fine. I think it can be, um, you know, polished a little. Um, maybe soldiers don't need the pushback, because, I mean, what did it really do to the game? It just, like, insta-killed you. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll leave more feedback in text format. Otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Uh, check out this game on Steam. Again, it's called Heroes of Valor. And, uh, maybe I'll make another video some other time. Thank you, take care.